the worst makeup worst makeup the worst makeup the worst make it rated the make <sighs> what is your nothing welcome to my channel so today we are going to do something a little bit different i wanted to talk about videos as a viewer and as a youtuber that i absolutely today we're not gonna talk about the ones i love we're gonna talk about the ones i don't like so we're gonna do like top five today and then we'll do well we're doing bottom five we're starting from the bottom okay um but top five videos like trendy ones ones that go around ones that won't die you know that i just am not interested in watching i do consume quite a bit um but yeah these are ones that i'm just not interested in no matter who's filming it even if it's a youtuber these are a lot of youtubers that i love that film these types of videos that i'm just not into so I thought it'd be a good way to also get to know you guys and what videos you guys like and what videos you don't. So make sure you are involved, interact, comment down below ones that you like to watch or ones that you don't. In this case, ones that you just pass over, you know, because it will help me as well. Let's go ahead and jump to this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. I do upload at least three to four times a week. So without further ado, let's hop in. I feel like I have to give a disclaimer, right? Like. This is not to be taken too seriously, okay? If you love these types of videos, then that's fine. You know, you you do you. You do what you want to do. These are just ones that I personally am not interested in for one reason or another. So I'm not judging here, okay? We are no judgment zone. Let's go ahead and hop in. All right, I have my written down ones here. I'm going to start off with dollar store videos. I love finding new makeup products, and I feel like I don't love Dollar Store. I'm one, I'm scared of the actual like products and like what's used in the ingredients as well as the fact that, you know, I, I wanna say it's totally different if you genuinely shop there and you love it. Like I will shop there for cleaning products and hair ties and bobby pins and things that grow legs and run away. But when it comes to makeup, I will generally stick to drugstore and I have so many drugstore products that I absolutely love, but I feel like drugstore makeup hauls are generally done from people that have, that you know that they, they don't shop at the dollar store, you know what I mean? And it's, they're getting all these products to essentially throw away right after the video and I just feel like it's wasteful. It's not like you can bring anything to me where it's like you're going to recommend a product because everyone's Dollar Tree dollar store is different. So I just feel like I don't get anything out of it. And I just feel like it's just, you're just throwing away makeup. I don't know. I just don't feel like there are videos that I, I gravitate towards. I just don't, don't really enjoy watching them because like I said, there's just not anything in there where I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go out and get that. Or, you know, I get that it's for entertainment purposes, but it still makes me just feel like you're throwing away money for no reason. I don't know. I don't like those though. Next up. Don't kill me guys, apology videos. I cannot take apology videos. Like I just do not, not to say that people shouldn't apologize. I mean, maybe don't do things that you shouldn't be doing and then you won't have to make an apology video, but knock on wood, I will never have to ever do that. Um, but I just think that apology videos and it's it's more so the, not, not the actual apology, but like the whole, let me sit on the floor with a white background and a sweater and let me like really turn on the waterworks for you like I just don't like the whole it, they're all the same they're all the same type of video which makes me feel like they're not genuine and so I, I just don't like them like I'm just like oh here goes another one you know I'm just kind of like no nope nope next up hair videos obviously I need help with my hair. I don't like my hair. Uh, we have talked about this subject enough, but I cannot watch those mostly because I can't do it. I just feel like I can never follow along with it. I look like a five-year-old when I do try and it's just never a good, it's just never a good outcome for me. Okay, I look, I look like a child. <laughs> um, but mostly that just comes out of a jealousy standpoint where I'm just like, I wish my hair looks like your hair and I could do those things but with my texture and the curliness I just I hate hair and I just don't want to I yeah so purely just for the fact that I'm jealous I don't like those videos next up my husband is home and I can hear it's always sunny in the background and usually I can enjoy that show for like 
you know, a few episodes at a time, but he's been re-watching them, and I just want to scream. I can't. I can't take it. I can't. Like, Danny DeVito, I can take him in short spurts. That's it. Anyways, I went to the worst rated makeup artist videos I do not care for. I feel like they're mean-spirited videos. I feel like they start off super negative. They're ending on a negative note. And I just, I feel for them. Like, I just, I wouldn't like it if someone just, I opened up the internet tomorrow and found out that someone reviewed me as a per, like, it just seems like it's, you know, if you were gonna go get your makeup done, of course look at the reviews, but to have someone purposely do that and blast you online for that, it just, like, I just don't like that feeling. Like, I just feel like it's there to be mean. It's, you know, you don't know if that person watches YouTube and they see your video and they thought they did a great job and then they see that, it just, I, I would feel awful. You know, like I could never do that to a person and I just feel like it just really promotes a mean, just just being mean. I just, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't appreciate that. And so I just, I would never film it, nor do I like to watch it. Um, I just feel like it's being mean for entertainment purposes. And I just, yeah, no, not my thing. Especially when you don't know if like they use products that maybe they thought were gonna work for you and they didn't, if they were having an off day. Like it just, yeah, I don't like those. Next up we have, Okay, I have two more, so I'm giving you six instead of five, okay? Because these are also two videos I don't really like. Um, weekly PR videos, I am not a fan of. I am okay if it's every once in a while that someone posts a giant PR thing. I don't want this to come off in a bad way. I don't think that people shouldn't show PR or, you know, that's what it's there for. Um, hopefully I'll get to that point one day. But, you know, it's, it's one of those where it's either someone opening up a million boxes and so they're not really paying attention to the products where, or they're like, it seems like they're forcing themselves to be excited about certain products. So I feel like I like watching it more when they're using PR makeup or giving us reviews on PR makeup, but I don't care to watch them open up the boxes and have this abundance of makeup that you're just like, you are probably never even gonna open up half of it. Like, so that's just my, my personal opinion on it. Um, but yeah, I don't want this to come off as like a snarky, like oh, you don't like it because you don't get a PR. Like, no, that's not it. I would totally show PR if I got it. I have no problem with people showing it. It's just more like when it's, you know, an hour long video of you opening up boxes and either pretending to be interested in, or you look at it for two seconds and then you're like, okay, done, you know? I want actual like swatches and I'd rather watch you play with it. So that's just my personal opinion. Well, all of this is. <laughs> um, and then lastly, I feel like it's been this past year where it's like a lot of food stuff. You guys know I love food, okay? Love food. I like watching mukbangs. That's, hopefully that's how you say it. I don't mind that, but I don't like it when, I don't really care about the whole like, a person in front of me ordered my food. Why? You know, I don't go to a restaurant to have someone, no, mm-mm. I am very routine oriented when I go somewhere. I will try new things. I'm very open to different types of food, but I just, I just don't care for it. Like, I'm just like, why? Why? I go somewhere because I have a craving for that. Like, I'm not gonna let you order my food. Two, what if you like really boring, like I just, I take food way too seriously to enjoy those types of videos. So that is why. Anyways, again, this is just meant to be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know videos that you guys are not interested in. Um, I will be doing my top like five videos next week. But yeah, it was just kind of fun to hang out and I just wanted to kind of chat and hopefully get your guys' opinion as well. Please don't forget to subscribe before we leave. And before we leave, you're leaving with me apparently. We are going out tonight, it's Friday. So that is it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.